I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will apply the formula for external division of line segment and find the point which divides line segment externally. The equation here is a 2 comma 10 and b 1 minus 5 are the end points of segment AB. Find the point P that divides it in the ratio of minus 4 is to 7. Right. So coordinate points of P can be found by using the formula uh, B over A plus B times the coordinate points of A. Right. So this is coordinate points of A plus A over A plus B times the coordinate points of the other point B. That is how you can find coordinate points of P. Normally we write OP and OA when we are working with vectors since the point is with reference to origin on your scale right so so now using these points we know a is 2 10 b is 1 and minus 5 ratio is minus 4 is to 7 so since so we have a equals to minus 4 b as equals to 7 right so point a is given to us as 2 10 point b is given to us as 1 minus 5 right so basically let me write o a, o p o a and o b right so that becomes in the vector notation okay that becomes in the vector notation so those of you who want to use this for coordinate geometry can just use point p as i wrote earlier okay now so b is 7 so we'll write 7 over minus 4 plus minus 4 plus 7 times coordinate points of A which is 2, 10, right? Plus, here we get A, the ratio A, the first part which we would, which is minus 4 over minus 4 plus 7 and coordinate points for B is 1 minus 5, right? So we'll just multiply this. This is, we have 7 over 3, right? 7 over 3, 2 comma 10 plus minus 4 over 3, 1 comma minus 5 right so that gives us 7 times 2 which is 14 so we could write this point as 14 over 3 comma 7 times 10 is 70 70 over 3 plus the coordinate points as minus 4 over 3 and when you multiply this you get plus 20 over 3 right so so you are adding the coordinate points. So literally, you can just add them. So 14 minus 4 is 10. So we get 10 over 3 as the x value of point P. And 70 plus 20 is 90. So 90 over 3 as the y coordinate for this, right? So of course, you can simplify this a bit and write this as 10 over 3. And that is 30, right? So, so that becomes the coordinate points of P, right now let us also try to understand what the situation is so in this particular case what we really have is two points a and b so in this case let me kind of sketch it right so what we have here is point a is two tens and point b is one minus five so let us say this is one this is minus five kind of here right and this is point b for us Point A is 2, 10. So point A is 2 and it's kind of steep, right? Somewhere there, right? Somewhere there is point A for us. Now when we say that this is point A, then what is really happening here is minus 4 means point P is not within these portions, right? So point P is kind of on the right side. So point P should be, if I connect this line, if I connect this line, let's say that this is my line segment, right? And if I extend this line segment, in that case, for us, the point P is external because it is minus 4. So minus 4 really means external, away from B. So don't treat this as like x-axis, away from B. So what we could have is like kind of like this, 1, 2, 3, and let us 4. So here it is, right, 4. So that is the location of point P for us. 
So it is 4 units of A. So we are saying this as minus 4. You get the idea, right? And as far as from B is concerned, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6, and 7. Do you see that? So that makes it minus 4 is to 7. So that is what we are saying minus 4 is to 7. Correct? So that is the ratio. Correct? So that is how we could actually visualize the situation. And what we found here is this point is uh, slightly more than 3. So this point is kind of, you get the point, right? So this is like 1, this is 2. And this point is, let us say here we have 3, somewhere there. And the y value is 30. So that is the solution for the given question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.